When she was just a girl, she expected the world, but it flew away from her reach. So she ran away in her sleep and dreamed of para, para, paradise every time she closed her eyes. In an interview about this album and about that song, Coldplay's Chris Martin and Johnny Buckland said that that song, uh, and you've probably heard it on the radio a lot, was crucial to the making of their most recent album, Milo Zyloto. They said, quote, it's a song you can build everything else around, unquote, one that, quote, gives you a reason to make an album, unquote. As I listened to the song this week again, I thought, yeah, there is something very universal about the yearnings and the cries and the sentiments articulated in those lyrics. We, in Christian theology, believe that every single human being born into the face of this planet are meant to expect the world. That is how God made us. We are all made by God, and we're all ultimately made for paradise. And we all struggle with the expectation as it is not being met in our lives as we live them right now, falling short of that expectation. But it flew away from our reach, and the bullets catch in our teeth. Life goes on. You know this. It gets so heavy. The wheel breaks the butterfly. Part of you feels like it dies some days. Every tear a waterfall in the night the stormy night, we'll close our eyes. In the night, the stormy night, away we'll fly and dream of paradise. You, God, earnestly are my God, and earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you, God. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and in a parched land where there is no water, I've seen you in your sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands, and I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night and dream of para, para, paradise. A couple of times in the album, if you're familiar with it, there are these moments where they point to and recognize and re-mention the falling short of expectations, reality that is part of our lives. And I found the language that Coldplay, in penning their lyrics for a mass audience, would use to be quite curious, given my theological training. Hurts like heaven. Do you ever get the feeling that you're missing the mark? All the theologians are going, yeah, I'll explain. Lift off this blindfold. Let me see again. And bring back the water. Let your ships roll in. In my heart, she's left a hole against us, against the world. When you're tired of aiming your arrows, still you never hit the mark. Not for all of you who are wondering why I think that's cool. Um, falling short, missing the mark, being blind, having a God-shaped hole. These are all biblical Greek words that were used as descriptors for the theological, spiritual curse and problem of sin and brokenness. They describe the condition of sin as an arrow missing the mark or falling short when the biblical writers write about that fact, that reality, this spiritual reality that separates you and me, the condition of humanity that keeps God sometimes feeling very far away and remote and in darker times causes you to turn your back on God and walk the other way. Sin, this 
spiritual sickness that leaves us dry, parched, dissatisfied, groping, like we got holes in ourselves, tired. And so, lying underneath those stormy skies, we say, oh, I know the sun must be set to rise. And our souls wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. And we're all waiting for a sun to arise. And we're all reaching for something we're made to grasp and hold and be held by. And our hearts are restless, God, until they find their rest in you. Lord, I don't know which way I am going. 